Well, not only be pitched picked in the NHL, what was it like to be picked in the NHL by the Buffalo Sabres? Yeah, it's definitely amazing. Um, you know, going home, kind of uh, back to my home rink and, and everything. So, uh, yeah, I'm just super excited. Kind of uh, earn every opportunity I can get there. So, How much did you think about being drafted and how much did you think about what if it was the Sabres? Yeah, I think this whole year, it's kind of been a long year, kind of leading up to the draft and I haven't really thought of, you know, where where to go, but um, obviously Sabres picked me and I'm super excited and couldn't be more happy, um, you know, going back home, like I said, so. How many friends and family here today? Sorry? How many friends and family were here today? Uh, yeah, I have a good a good amount of family um, from my mom and dad's side, so. And so I'm sure you had a rough idea what range you might expect, so what was it like just kind of waiting? Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously it's kind of, it gets anxious up there. Uh, I just have to stay patient and uh, you know wherever you go it's the best place for you and um, you know they'll be happy to have you and that's why they picked you so uh, yeah kind of just sitting up there it's it's a little stressful but uh, at the same time it's you know I'll be honored to draft by anyone and I couldn't be more excited to be drafted by the Sabres so Yeah, I mean, definitely I saw a lot of familiar faces down at the table. Um, so that was obviously a great feeling, kind of just going down there and seeing those guys. Um, you know, I've came up through the Junior Sabres organization, so worked with the Academy of Hockey a lot. I know I worked with uh, Matt Ellis a ton. Um, worked with Tim Kennedy a ton. Uh, he was my 16U coach. So obviously a ton of familiar faces, and, um, you know, I'm just super excited that, that this is the organization I'm going to, for sure. Did you have a feeling when it was time for the Sabres pick at 86 that that might be the time? Um, yeah, I think, uh, you know, you never know, really. Kind of yeah. sat through all those picks. So, um, you know, I really was just waiting to hear my name called. You know, no really uh, expectation of each pick. But um, once I heard it called, obviously, I was uh, kind of ecstatic and uh, super excited to get down there. So. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't bet him nothing, but uh, yeah, maybe some bragging rights on him for sure. <laughs> Sabres have a lot of young defensemen who are going to be there a long time. You could play with one day. Uh, how much have you followed them, and how much does that excite you to know those names? Yeah, I think I grew up obviously a Sabres fan. Uh, still follow them to this day, and um, I think I'm just super excited. Kind of go to camp and earn my spot, and uh, continue earning my spot the next couple of years, and. Uh, you know, obviously that's the goal to kind of get to that level and play with some of those guys. So uh, super pumped for that. Super excited. What was your impression of this season for them? Uh, yeah, I thought it was great. Uh, definitely trending in the upwards direction. So as a fan, uh, obviously, like I said, I was a Sabres fan growing up and, um, you know, seeing them this year uh, get some get some wins and kind of get close to the playoffs was super exciting. and. Um, definitely uh, trending upwards for sure. And the injury in December, how did you deal with that adversity and then will it help you at the next level? Yeah, I think that was kind of my first real uh, injury, um, my major first injury. Um, so kind of just dealing with that, dealing with being off the ice for that long, um, kind of just staying occupied, staying like working hard. Um, coming back from the injury I think was pretty hard too, kind of uh, like I said uh, at the combine, building the strength in that leg up. Um, so I think just learning how to come back from injuries and uh, kind of being the same player when you come back as before you left. So I, I think it definitely uh, I learned a ton from it. Development camp is Sunday. You're going to be at Harvard Center. Yep. And you're going to have a Buffalo Sabres jersey to fly on. Will it be a little emotional for you? Yeah, for sure. I think I think it'd be really cool um, just kind of being there and being in a Sabres jersey. Um, you know, it's a 30 minute ride from my house. So. Uh, I think it'll be really cool kind of going down there for a different reason this time. So I've uh, been down there a million times, and uh, this this one's definitely going to be the the most fun, I'd say. What's your relationship with Kevin been like from the time you were young to now seeing him be the GM of the Sabres? What's that like for you? Yeah, I think it's it's been amazing. Uh, like I said earlier, I've, I've worked at, with a bunch of those guys um, downtown at the Harbor Center, um, whether it's skills pods or, you know, he'll come out and, make an appearance at our practices, but, um, you know, uh, just, it's been amazing, uh, kind of growing up and uh, around those guys, because they have so much to offer for experience, and um, I've just learned so much from them. The timing of the injury, Gavin, is 
draft eligible season. Did you have to really, how did you navigate the challenge of thinking about that part, right? Um, and just focusing on the recovery aspect and getting back to play? Yeah, at that point, uh, I tried really not to focus on uh, the draft. Um, it's kind of an uncontrollable from there. Uh, kind of just control what I can, kind of coming back from the injury, um, getting back to where I need to be uh, was kind of my biggest goal, uh, not really focused on the draft. So. Do you have a favorite memory of your Sabres fandom, whether it was a game you watched or attended or anything growing up? Um, I'm not sure. I think I went to a couple games with my team. Um, obviously, for the Quebec PB tournament, uh, we got to go on the ice. So, um, you know, kind of those guys coming out, giving us fist bumps and everything. So I think that's probably the coolest time for sure. Um, remembering those guys coming out of the tunnel, was, it was definitely an unreal experience. So. Who was your favorite Sabre when you were younger? Um, I'd probably say Jack Eichel. I mean, he, he went to BU, so I followed him a bunch. And, um, you know, once he got drafted by the Sabres, I was super excited to watch him there. And obviously, he's a great player. He's not there anymore. But, uh, you know, I think I've wa I watched him a ton when I was younger. So. Is there a player that you'd look up to? I mean, obviously, defense. Uh, who was your defensive, I, I guess, f your favorite defenseman, I, I guess? Yeah, I, I think there's a ton of. Uh, defenseman you could pick from. Uh, most exciting, I mean, obviously Rasmus Dahlin, first overall pick. Uh, super excited when he we uh, got the first overall pick, so kind of seeing him come into Buffalo and uh, be where he is at now with uh, one of the best defensemen in the league, so um, I'd probably say him. I watched him a ton uh, when I was growing up. I know he'd only been in the league for five years, but definitely, uh, definitely watch him. So. Is headed. Um, you know, everything that's happened the last couple of years and all the talent now that is in the prospect pipeline as well as the NHL roster. Yeah, I think it's super exciting for the whole city of Buffalo, kind of uh, trending back to the, towards the playoffs. Um, I know as a fan, it's it's really fun to watch, a really fun team to watch. So um, I'm just excited, you know, kind of go back home and kind of try to earn my spot there and, uh, you know, do the, do the best I can. So.